uh, hi folks uh, well uh, welcome to geeky review channel uh, today in this video we are going to upgrade our uh, asus zenfone 5 from kitkat to lollipop so first things first uh, just make sure that your uh, phone's system is up to date so first thing that we do is we take our asus zenfone 5 we check the build number so this is what your build number should be before upgrading your phone from uh, kitkat to lollipop so it should be 2.22.40.54 okay and uh, when you see this ww underscore user so the ww is the sku of your phone so be very careful if in case your phone mentions the sku of tw so uh, then you have to download the uh, firmware uh, that starts with TW okay and uh, just to be a bit more safe you can just click on the system update and uh, you can uh, click on check update if in case your phone offers you a uh, system update then you just go ahead and update it first and then we can upgrade the phone to lollipop okay now once you follow this step the next step would be download the firmware so unfortunately for uh, asus zenfone 5 and 6 wwsku uh, asus.com has removed firmware for some reason if you own a asus zenfone 4 you can still go to asus.com and upgrade your phone from uh, kitkat to lollipop but unfortunately for asus uh, zenfone 5 and 6 the firmware uh, for WWSKU has been removed. But fortunately, you can get this uh, firmware from my blogspot that is geekyreview.blogspot.in. I have uh, mentioned it in the description below. So once you come to my, uh, once you click on the link, it will take you to this page, which again gives you a step by step tutorial on how to upgrade your phone from uh, KitKat to Lollipop. As the blog mentions, uh, before upgrading your phone, just uh, make sure that you remove your uh, SD card because uh, uh, once you upgrade your phone to Lollipop, uh, there are some issues uh, which you will face. If uh, your phone, uh, if your uh, memory card's uh, system file is uh, NTFS, then uh, it your memory card won't be detected after the upgrade so then you have to format your memory card and uh, you have to select fat32 file system while formatting and then your uh, then your memory card will be detected so you make sure that you do that and for me getting you to my blog is i have placed both the firmware for asus zenfone 5 as well as 6 uh, for WWSKU on my blog so what you have to do is you just have to come and click on this uh, green image and it will take you to a download a download page and you can simply download uh, the firmware from here so as I have clearly mentioned uh, ASUS Zenfone 5 A500CG as well as A501CG so both the models uh, for both the models the firmware is the same and some people, many people have contacted me, they have asked me, uh, like, you know, the file that you have offered on your blog is uh, for T00F. But uh, my phone itself has a model number of T00J and uh, it, 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 it works for both. The firmware works for both the versions. So just uh, be rest assured and just download the uh, firmware and uh, then we'll be good to upgrade. So next what I do is I have already uh, downloaded this firmware and kept it ready. Okay. Then we would just copy and uh, paste it in the internal storage of our phone. So the moment you do that it, this is the file that you have to copy and paste for your ASUS Zenfone 5 as well as ASUS Zenfone 6. And uh, once you have done that. You just have to close this uh, page and you have to 
unplug the USB cord. So the moment I did that, you can see a system file update. Okay, my phone has given me a notification that uh, there is a system up update file detected. And once I click on that, it's asking me to press. Uh, if in order to go ahead, we need to press OK. And once you press OK again. Uh, like few warnings uh, the thing is uh, it's it's always good that uh, you charge your battery to 100 percent to be safe then you just need to press ok and the moment you press ok the system would shut down and uh, the installation process would take place so uh, while the installation process is uh, taking place a uh, few things to keep like you know few things to again remember uh, 15 minutes minimum is the time that it takes to upgrade your phone from uh, KitKat to Lollipop so be very patient and uh, uh, your progress bar would uh, get stuck like in one fourth uh, when the progress bar reaches uh, one fourth uh, uh, position so it will be stuck there for a long time so don't worry about it but the update is going on in the background okay so just leave your phone to upgrade just don't touch it at all until your phone restarts on its own and it's uh, ready to use don't touch your phone at all just keep it aside okay see this is the position where uh, the progress bar gets stuck for a while so just leave your phone aside and uh, we'll just I'll just resume the video after 15 minutes uh, and while my uh, phone is upgrading I would like to share some facts with you uh, if in case you are upgrading your Asus Zenfone uh, 6 then uh, your software uh, version should be 2.2.2.4.0.44 before uh, upgrading to Lollipop and uh, if in case you are upgrading your Asus Zenfone 4 then your uh, software version should be 6.6.3 before upgrading so finally after a good 15 to 20 minutes wait the system is upgraded the phone has upgraded from uh, KitKat to Lollipop And the moment you do that, your phone even asks you to update Google Play service. And see, look, the phone has given you a notification. System has been updated successfully. Okay. So now let's go and uh, check the version of the phone. So finally, you can see a lollipop pop <laughs> so you finally upgraded from uh, kitkat to lollipop and uh, if you look at the built number now your phone has been upgraded to 3.23.40.52 so it's really simple and uh, other than this uh, if you get really bored with uh, lollipop soon then you can come to my channel again and uh, there is a video that I have recently made to downgrade your uh, uh, downgrade your lollipop operating system to KitKat because I really got bored and a bit annoyed so I made this video as well and again this step is uh, it's a very simple uh, process so just feel free to switch between uh, lollipop and KitKat whenever you feel like okay Take care, enjoy. Uh, I would really appreciate if you leave some comments, if you share your experience, if you subscribe and do let me know if you want me to make uh, more videos for you. So, thank you. Bye.